to my fall haul of 2022. I accumulated quite a bit the past few weeks, maybe months because Halloween passed. But I wanted to show off the stuff I found in case you guys find it on sale or maybe just for next year for inspiration. But yeah, I really like hauls. It helps me figure out what's out, what's new, or what I want to get to decorate with. Like the starters, Target. I found this cute little number. A little turkey. I don't know if she's, they're called a hen. If it's a girl. But I love her gutter. I think that's what it's called. But the hat sold me. I love the simplicity of it. The color scheme. It, it looks like a DIY that you can do at home. I'm not that gifted, so I can't do that. But I picked up a little buddy for it. I wasn't originally, but I loved how they just look cute together. The color scheme, the hat, and I like crossing their feet over each other. But they're just really easy to just plot anywhere for the fall time. Next in their dollar section, they had this, I don't know what it's called, like a little table or cutting board with like a nice wood color, but it's not really sturdy, so I wouldn't recommend putting anything really heavy on it. They had a bunch of little knickknacks, I guess where there was like cutting boards i like this one it was really thin lightweight and i could just put it up against anywhere they had this hot coffee sign which i thought was cute it's more of a block look to it but if you have like a coffee station it'll be cute and when the light hits it the letters give off the like a copper sheen to it it's really cute i found this pumpkin sign which i thought it was cute if you put little pumpkins on in front of it I'm not sure the term for it, but I took the the price tag off later. There was another cutting board they had. This one was thicker, more of a block look to it, a little heavier, but I just really liked the font it was giving off. Giving off? It had, I mean, sorry. And it's just easy to put up anywhere. For the pumpkins, they had a few. Not a lot this year. They had small ones and big ones of these versions. But I just picked up the white and a few color because I really like the finish of it. The color ones look like they have more of a velvet touch to it. Material, but the white one looked more suede. But I loved how rich in color they looked. The teal as well with the white roping or nude roping around them to like enhance it. I thought it was really nice. They're really lightweight and easy to put around the house to decorate. This is just a close up to see what I mean. Hopefully you can see it. I think they were a little washed out. This is a sugar bowl. That's what it's called. It's glass, a ceramic. It comes with a little spoon. I thought it was cute, but I just used it to decorate. this other type of pumpkin it's made like a terracotta material i believe it's heavier and wider than the other ones so be mindful where you place it but i like that it looked like it, they like sand off the white paint it had on to give it this light finish i found this pumpkin glass jar it is smaller than it looks I just put candy or like um, like eyeballs for Halloween in it, like those fake ones. But the lid doesn't have like a stopper in it, so just be careful, it's very slippery. But this is just the fall decor part. Not for Halloween, I found this cute little ceramic ghost with a scarf. It lights up, but I didn't have batteries for it. But it was just so cute. They also had Halloween mugs from different sizes. The smaller ones were just $3. But like really small honestly but they're so cute together next they had a day of the dead area and i found this picture frame and i just love how it looks the colors how they complement each other i originally put my grandma in it but all the picture it came with i thought was really cute by itself you can hang it or just place it on the table anywhere 
in the dollar section too i found these like jelly like stickers people put in windows i like putting them in my mirrors because sometimes i notice if the sun hits it it melts and that's just a mess i also found these like paper bats and spider webs the paper bats i recommend putting double the like sticky stuff it comes with or tape because they could fall off pretty easily the spider web i didn't get to use this year because nobody wanted me to decorate the bathroom with it so i'll try again next year but it was some pretty easy to use uh for dollar tree now i found these pumpkins that i wanted to put on a diy i want to try but these i could just cut off the wires or place them around the house or paint them a different color i thought these were really nice i found these different style of pumpkins kind of like farm core or cottage core maybe because of the wood and the simplicity of the, just the white paint I just picked up these letters for the DIY I needed moss so I just picked up these two I've never worked with it before but I just know just be careful because it's very like messy I'm not a flannel type of girl but the shape that sorry the shape of these bows was really cute and I love the color scheme of it and I thought it was easy to wrap around or just glue on I need craft I picked up these purple lights for the DIY I didn't get to use them but I like that they were purple and then these eyeballs I put in the pumpkin jar and I use uh, one for a separate DIY but these are pretty simple I picked up some flowers to decorate fall colored scheme I thought they were really nice the ball ones were really nice realistic looking but I messed it up on the way home this was a dollhouse that they wanted to I was trying to make a haunted candle holder that I saw on Pinterest I found this sign I thought it was so cute I just think I loved how the pumpkin looked the borders are supposed to like resemble like wood but if you like bang it it'll like chip off and look obvious this isn't really Halloween or fall but I just found these in the Dollar Tree and I thought they were really nice so I picked them up now for Michaels they were luckily having a sale of like 40% off Halloween decor so I picked up these snakes that glow in the dark for um, the DIY same for these skulls The brooms weren't part of the sale, but I thought they were really nice how they were made. But my favorite piece was this typewriter. I have a pink section in my room, or corner, and I thought it was just cute for all year round. Unless, if you don't mind a spider. But it's like a nice pastel pink. It looks washed out in the video. And it is heavy, so I do, like, just be mindful where you place it, because it's not light. But it was luckily 40% off too. And that concludes my fall haul of the year. If you made it to the end, thank you so much for watching, taking your time to finish the video. And I hope I inspired you to get into the season feeling. Or just a shop. <laughs> but thank you so much. And I appreciate you. And I hope you have a wonderful season. Bye bye.